Welcome back. We're just about set for the third place game. Get my microphone unraveled here. Bozier City and Howe. Jaylee Oglesby is getting a picture made. Number 11 for Howe. She had 45 points last night. She's got three straight games of 40 points. She was fun to watch. You can enjoy watching her. Bozier City will have their hands full guarding that young lady. And there's the Bearcats from Bozier City. Our game today is the third place game between the visiting Howe jerseys. So the Bearcats and Lady Lions set to go. Introducing the starting lineups first That's from the visitors. Lady Lions. Sydney Womack. No, I'll let the PA guy do it. What am I, what am I doing? Number 11, Jimmy Oglesby. Number 24, Kennedy Cooper. Number 30, Justin Lynn. And number 44, Zoe Nation. All right, so there's the starting lineups. Let's turn that crowd mic down a little bit. For Howe, Womack, Oglesby, Cooper, Lynn, and Nation, Thomas, Flem, Jones, Walker, and Thomas. Deshaun Williams, the head coach of Bossier City. Chris Brown, the head coach for Howe. Lady Lion fans here in big numbers, and they're on their feet for the opening tip. North side of Van Buren in the championship game after this one, the third place game set to go now. Bozier City and Howe. The officials are set. We're set. Glad you are with us. Thomas and Oglesby will jump center. Thomas is going to win that one. Howe coming out in his zone. Deep three, that's Thomas, and she's got that kind of range. And just like that, Bozier City's on the board. Nation thought about it, pulled it back. Womack, she can hit it from there, so can Cooper. No good, Oglesby with her first rebound. Again, 45 points last night. Three straight games of 40 plus. She can do it from all over the floor. Womack's three, no good. Oglesby battles for the rebound, and Bozier City's going to control, and here they go. Walker quickly up the floor like a blur. Nice pass inside. Thomas off the window, got it to go. Hit the deck hard, but she, she's up and okay, limping a little bit. That hurt. Womack, Oglesby on the baseline. Walker on her, puts it on the deck. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Flem. She hit some threes last night. Keep an eye out for her. Five nothing. Bozier City in front. Walker through the lane. Thomas put back. No good. Got it again. Kicks it out. Flem just inside the three point line. No good. Gets her own rebound. Goes in. No good. Oglesby clears it away. Here come the Lady Lions. Oglesby, spin, pull up, yes. She's on the board. 
Jaylee's on the board, 5-2. Bozier City in front. Bozier City lost to Northside last night, 65-31. Hal lost to Van Buren, 62-61. Flem for three. She can hit it. Essence with three. And they're going to need Zoe Nation to tie her shoe. She will do that, and then we will resume. Seven two, Bearcats in front. Oglesby for three, and that was an air ball. That's a little surprising. Here comes Walker pushing it down the floor. Can't find anybody. Thomas, she's going to put it on the deck to the hole. No good. Rebound up and in by Destiny Thomas. Destiny's got five. Quickly, Oglesby down the floor, blocked by Thomas. Walker's got a couple wing players. Now she'll hold it up. Nope, she'll spin, shoot off the front of the rim. Womack. It's going to be an up and down affair. Trim nice defense to block the pass to Cooper. Bozier City won the opening game 45 to 40 over East Central. Hal beat Southside 78-61 and lost by one to Van Buren last night. So Bozier City has scored 45 and 31 points. They're already well ahead of their schedule. Oglesby with her fourth point. She scored all of the points so far for the Lady Lions. Off the foot, they play on. Walker thought about it. Tells Thomas, hold on, I'll get it to you. Flem, she can hit that, she'll fire it. Missed everything, Oglesby with the rebound. Jaylee looking down the floor, gets it to Womack. She can hit the deep three, thought about it, had to pull it back. Twyman. No, that's, that's Lynn. So Justin with her first basket. And we've got a two-point game. Bozier City starting to struggle a little bit on offense. Off the screen, Walker through the trees, almost over past Jones. Thomas, trying to work baseline, kicks it back out. Lady Lions are not giving them a good open look. So they'll back it out and reset. Jones and Walker, he's playing catch right now. They'll try to get set. Thomas will come up to set a screen. There it is. Good screen, Walker pull up jumper, knocked it down. So Chloe's on the board with two and it's 11-7 in favor of Bozier City. Oglesby, pull up jumper, that's her shot. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound goes to Flem and here comes. Bozier City looking to add to a lead. Dangerous pass, Thomas has it. She'll drive the basket if you let her. Contact, they play on. Three-pointer or two? No, it's a two. Jones with the deuce. 13-7. No, oh, they give that to Flem, I'm sorry. Womack, no good. Oglesby the rebound, baseline. Floater won't go. Foul's going to be on Thomas. Up and down first quarter so far. Bozier City on pace for their highest point total of the tournament easily. Whoops. Sorry about that. And Oglesby hits the free throw. 45 last night. 42, I believe it was, in the opening game. She's got six. And she makes the steal there. 
She's going to take it in. Walker on her hip off the glass. Oglesby has cut it to two. And just like that, she's got eight points. Thomas needing help. Got it away. Deep three. Jones. Holy Toledo. Jones bringing some rain. 16-11, Oglesby needs some help. Lynn thought about a three, pulled it back. Oh, went baseline, and Womack never saw it coming. Good idea, but you need your teammate to know the pass is coming. See if Bozier City can keep this offensive pace going. Holy Moses, look at Destiny. Thomas drive the lane, up and in. We've got a timeout with 1.32 to go. This has been fast-paced, wild and woolly. Bozier City up by seven. We'll take the time out and return after this. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. One thirty-two to go, quarter number one. The Party Place, the Party Supply Superstore, a broadcast sponsor of the 2017 Tournament of Champions. Don't forget, they sell costumes all year long and for any occasion. If you've got a party, there's only one place to go, the Party Place, the largest locally owned party supply store in Arkansas. Three locations, Fort Smith, Rogers, and Conway. Womack, deep three, just off the rim. Rebound, Bozier City. Bozier City's playing a lot faster pace than they have throughout the tournament. Jones for three off the front of the iron, saved by Flam. She might have stepped out, but they play on. Oglesby with a one on two. Pull up jumper off the glass, yeah. She's got 10. And under a minute to go in the lead is five. Thomas, nope, rebound Lynn. And now Howell starting to make a little push. Oglesby's got it left side, puts it on the deck, spin move, contact, count the basket if it's the NBA. But they're gonna say she was on the base, on the floor. And Walker's gonna pick up the foul. You could have made a case for in the act. If it was the NBA, definitely would have been a basket. Cooper, three-pointer good. Kennedy with her first basket. And we've got a two-point game. Just like that. 5-0 run for the Lady Lions. And here comes the pressure. See how Bozier City responds. Thomas takes her to the rack strong and she'll draw a contact. It's Zoe Nation. Yep. Zoe's first. Dronautica Thomas to the line. Brittany Wan checks in. Here's the Mabozier City lineup. At the second, somebody needs to come down. They're going to get a five second call if they're not careful. They did manage to get it in and almost threw it away, and they did. Mm. 15.7. Deep three off the iron, no good. 10 seconds, Oglesby in the front court. She'll take it herself. Spin around jumper off the glass in the kiss. And she's got 12. And at the end of quarter number one, Bozier City holds on to a 20 
to 18 lead and up and down. First eight minutes of this one. Who knows what's going to happen? We'll be back after this timeout. Bozier City up by two. All right, we came back a little early. 20 to 18 as we start quarter number two. How? Oglesby for three in the lead. Nope. Zoe Nation had the rebound, lost it. They get it back to Ogles Beef. She was fouled, blocked, gets it back, contact. She'll go to the line. Destiny Thomas picks up her second foul. Justin Lynn checks back in for how. Free throw for Oglesby, good. We're tied at 20. Oglesby's got 14 points. Chloe Walker with her fourth point. Back to a two point lead. Oglesby on the baseline contact. That's pretty easy call. Russell. Fourth team foul. So not in the bonus. Oh, we're going to have an offensive foul. 30. Justin Lynn trying to set a screen for Oglesby, and she's called for the foul. Chloe through the lane, blocked from behind by Lynn. They let him play on. They have to dump it out far, Davis. Some thought she walked. They play on. Walker, now the passes are starting not really to find their target for Bozier City. Walker dribbling too much, and they're going to call Oglesby with a foul. The Lady Lion fans did not agree. You could hear Coach Williams calling out the play. Base. Base. Flem drives the basket and draws contact. Who's it going to be on? 30. Justin Lynn, that's her second. 6.47 to go. Oh, this is quarter number two, isn't it? Somebody needs to update their school board. There we go. Sorry about that. Baseline move, nice. Oh, overshot everything. Battle for the rebound. Womack comes away with it somehow. Gets it to Oglesby. They've got numbers. Off the glass, left hand, no good. Rebound, Bozier City. As the Van Buren Lady Pointers look on as they arrive in the gym, they'll face Northside in the championship. Overpass, here comes Howe. 
Oglesby has a teammate. Now she pulls up off the glass. A lot of contact. They play on. Juan comes up with a loose ball. Now bodies flying everywhere. A lot of contact. We play on. Womack. Or I'm sorry, that was Walker dishing it off. Thomas. And Destiny already has nine points. Timeout, Lady Lions. It's a 30. 24 20. Pace starting to slow just a little bit, but they've been getting up and down. Jaylee Oglesby with 14 points already and lead all scores. Destiny Thomas has nine to lead Bozier City. Cooper, baseline drive, overshot everything. Rebound goes to Bozier City. And they are being a lot more aggressive tonight. No good, rebound, kick out. Here comes Flim. She missed everything. So Howe will get the ball down four. And foul underneath. I believe it's going to go on Russell. Yep. That's her second. That's the 15 foul. Powell trying to work it to Oglesby. Couldn't get it free. Womack spots up. Three pointer good. Sydney gets a three. She's on the board, and we've got a one point game. Deep three from Davis, no good. Thomas with the rebound inside off the window, won't go, gets her own put back again. Janotica Thomas with five, lead back up to three. Under five to go until halftime. Zoe Nations about to check in. Oglesby with the one-hander, no good, but they get the rebound back. Again in the lane, she had one on the right. Right-handed floater won't go. Some token pressure. Bearcats get past it. Thomas drives baseline, kicks it off. Davis off the window, good. Deshauna Davis is on the board. Bozier City looking like a much different team so far tonight. This faster pace seems to suit them well. Oglesby, she is being hounded by Russell. We'll work it around. Here's Lynn. She drives in, kicks it to one, and one opportunity coming. And Brittany draws the foul. Flem draws the foul. Essence is first. And Michaela Twyman will step in. Oglesby will come out. Oglesby just a junior. Juan gets the three point play. Now in the game for Hal, number 15, Rachel Beams. Rachel Breams checks in. So, first time we've seen Breams in the ball game. Two point game. And how almost had the steal there. Lynn almost picked Thomas's pocket, but she ends up taking it to the rack, and Destiny's got 11. She's leading the Bearcats right now. She's the leading scorer on the floor. The only other player in double figures, of course, is Oglesby. Womack being pressured by Flem. 
Need somebody to come help her out. Good defense by the Bearcats, and Thomas steps right in front of the pass and steals it away. Davis looking to push it a little bit. She's got her choice of players. Long three, and holy my, Destiny Thomas is on fire. Two threes and four twos. That adds up to 14 points. She has been unstoppable. Foul. Or no? Turnover. Jones will check back in. As will Walker. Davis will come out. Someone else has got to come out. <laughs> Russell will. He can't play with six. Deshaun Williams very pleased with the way his team is playing right now. Everybody getting a big high five when they come off the floor. Chris Brown just hands in his pockets, kind of watching. Thomas down low, Dronotica up and in. She gets going. She's going to be hard to stop. Seven points for her. She's a senior, so she's got a lot of experience. She knows what big games are like. And Nation thought a teammate was cutting, and Twyman didn't cut. And Oglesby's going to check back in. And Morgan Turner's going to check in. And also Kennedy Cooper will return. Two minutes to go until halftime. 35-26, Bossier City has been impressive so far. Thomas, pass was a little hard, had to kick it out. And Destiny Thomas continues to put on a show. She's got 17. She's taken away high scoring honors away from Oglesby. Nation on the floor. Thomas, now that's big because that's three on Thomas. That's really big. Thomas has been on fire, but now she's got three fouls. Nation's free throw off the back iron, no good. Oglesby battles for it. So does Thomas. Who's it off of? They'll say it's off Thomas. Coach Williams is leaving her in with three fouls and a minute 33 to go until halftime. But the way she's playing, awful hard to pull her off. Cooper was open momentarily. Now Oglesby has it. She's got some room, shoots a three off the side of the rim. Lynn gets the rebound, they'll reset. Oglesby, nice head fake off the window, you bet. Jaylee's got 16, and the lead is back down to 10. How would like to get this thing back into single digits if possible. It's interesting today. All the games, one team has controlled the first half. The other team's controlled the second half. Let's see if that rings true again. Thomas underneath. Dronotica with her ninth point. Oh, they've got her for 10 officially. Oh, I must have missed a free throw. So anyway, Zoe Nation oh, no. blocked away by Thomas. That was a dangerous play. She's got three fouls. Under 30 to go. Thomas thought about driving in, pulled it back out. Flem. It's a two-pointer. Foot was on the line. Essence has... Seven. They are scoring at will. Zoe Nation for three. Zoe's three, no good. Rebound up and in. Morgan Turner. That's why you follow the shot. Now who's it on? This is going to be key. 
23. That's Chloe Walker. That's her second. So Walker with two, Russell with two, Thomas with three. Free throw is good for Turner. She's got three, 11 points, and they'll just let the horn sound. 42-31, Bozier City in front at the half. So we'll step away for halftime. A reminder, our broadcast presented by The Party Place, the party supply superstore. It's not a party till you go to The Party Place. Halftime in Fort Smith will return in about seven minutes with the second half. Bozier City up on how 42-31.
All right, there we go. Now the microphone works. We're just about set. For the third quarter of action, Bozier City and Howe, 42-31, Bozier City in front. They've got 42 points in the first half. They scored 45 in the first game, and then last night scored 31. So they're going to have a record output, barring a extreme cold streak in this game. How 61. Both games came out on the short end. Jaylee Oglesby leads Howe with 16 points. Three for Womack, three for Juan, three for Turner, three for Cooper, three for Lynn. 17 for Destiny Thomas, 10 for Jernotica Thomas, four for Walker, seven for Flynn, three for Jones, two for Davis. And I am blown away by the fact that Oglesby is not being very heavily recruited. I asked her mom during the half who was looking at her daughter and said, really not anybody. But she has been the talk of the town three straight 40-plus point games. She reminds me a lot of Jackie Stiles, not quite as tall as Stiles. And that is a walk. So Walker walks. And now how with the chance to get this thing into single digits. They've got a good contingent of fans here, do the Lady Lions, so they can make a run. This place will get pretty loud. And all the North Side and Van Buren fans starting to file in as they're ready for the championship game following this. Third place on the line in this one. Nation thought about it, pulls it back. Thomas was there to say hello. Womack for three, got it. Sydney. She's got six, and we've got an eight point game. Walker. Thomas wanted it, didn't give it four. Deep three. Jones. She's got six. Into the lane. Oh, it wouldn't go for Justin Lynn. Rebound. Destiny Thomas. She's playing with three fouls right now. She's the leading scorer in the game with 17. But she has the three fouls. She's the only one in foul jeopardy, so to speak. Walker, a little floater in the lane. No good. Oglesby with the rebound. Here come the Lady Lions. Oglesby, a little stutter step into the lane. Knifes through. Draws contact before the shot. It'll be on the baseline. And that's Destiny Thomas's fourth foul. That's big. She's got to come out. You'd almost say if you're Howe right now, go at Thomas. Oglesby off the window. Jaylee's first basket. Lead back down to nine. Walker needs help. Thomas. No, that's not Thomas. That's Jones. Now inside to Thomas. She missed it. Nation with the rebound. Here comes Oglesby. One on two. Man, that's just unbelievable. She's got 20 now. It's a seven-point game. How she can spin and hang and know exactly where the basket is and just float it in with that one-hander. Thomas has it stolen away. Nation saved it, but right back to her. Donatica's shot blocked. Womack has it. Here come the Lady Lions. And underneath, Nation, it was blocked by Thomas. Wow, what a defensive play. And now they're going to call a foul on the floor. Who's it on? 15, Flynn. Boy, he put the one up, and everybody got nervous on the Bozier City side because Thomas has four fouls, and she's going to come out of the ball game. Russell will come in. Yeah. 
Womack. She can hit that shot, but passed it up. Cooper inside Nation, just inside the free throw line. No good. Rebound easily controlled by Russell. Bearcats in control. Thomas on the deck, got away with, nope, they called it. She walked, kind of rushed it a little bit. She was hoping. The Lady Lions are forcing the Bearcats to play just maybe a little bit quicker than they need to. Womack, deep three, she's got that kind of range. Sydney knocks down her third three, and it's a four-point ball game. Howe has clawed their way back in. And the Bearcats are going to slow the tempo. Flem couldn't get it to go. Here's Oglesby. Puts it on the deck, drives in, spin, pull up. Yeah. Jaylee's got six in this half. She's got 22 for the ball game. She's now the high point scorer. Bossier City was scoring in bunches early on in the first half. They started to cool off. Being patient. Thomas bowls over Nation, and that's a charge. No, I'm sorry. She bowled over Cooper. That was just good defense. Thomas didn't know she was there. Dronotica's first foul. She's not scored in the second half. Jasmine Ford will check in for Krishana Jones. Pressure. They get it in. Two-point game. How with the chance to take the lead with a three for the first time today. They can tie it with a deuce. Give and go, Womack for three in the lead. A lot of contact and the ball will go off. And out of bounds. Thought it might have been blocked, but no. 3.15 to go in quarter number three. Flemmel hit that if you leave her open. She shoots and she scores. Essence has her second three in the ball game. She's got ten. She had a big game last night. She was knocking down threes big time. Nation, Oglesby, baseline jumper, in and out, no good. First shot she's missed in a while. Five-point game. Bearcats trying to add to the lead. Walker knifing through the defense. Layup, up and in by Ford. Jasmine's first points of the ball game. And the lead's back up to seven. Oh, they had Oglesby. Tass is tipped, and she had it. It's off her. They had her open cutting in the baseline. They couldn't get it to her quick enough. Coach Brown's going to call a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll return. 2.23 to go. Seven-point ball game. Fifty to forty-three is our score. <laughs> Bozier City has led the whole way. Two twenty-three to go. Thomas. The leading scorer, Destiny Thomas, was 17 for Bozier City. He picked up her fourth foul with 6.20 to go in the quarter. 
The score at that point was 45-34. So Howe's made a little bit of a run, but they haven't made too much of a dent. Jaylee Oglesby has 22 points. She is averaging over 40 points a game in this tournament. Has scored 40 plus her last three games. If you have not heard of her, you will. She is the talk of the River Valley. Walker overpass, overplayed it. Thomas with the rebound. She draws the foul underneath. Who's it on? 24, and that is Cooper. Kennedy's first. So Dramatica Thomas looking for her first points of the second half. And the free throw is not good. Lady Lion cheerleaders trying to provide some noise on the far end. Thomas off the back iron, no good, and a foul. That's going to be on Ford over the back. That becomes team foul number four. Okay. Just one on how. Free throws could become huge in the fourth quarter. Needs help to get it in. They're going to have to call a timeout. I don't know how they avoided a five-second there. I thought that was a five-second. They play on. Lynn dribbling around. Oglesby trying to get open on the, win on the baseline, but she's guarded hard by Russell. Now it gets loose. Ooh, nifty behind the back. Pull up from the free throw line short. She's played a lot of minutes this weekend. Everybody's third game in three days. Play's been kind of sloppy at times today all the way around for everybody. Foul on the perimeter. Foul number 11 for Howell. That's Ogilvy. Her second foul. Turner up top gives it to Walker. Chloe's going to hold it and let the offense get set. Now she'll put it on the floor and dribble around and see what she can find. Ford's going to shoot a three. No good. Rebound. Who came out of there with it? Flem. She's got ten. She snuck in there behind Thomas and got the rebound and the putback and leads back up to nine. Womack. Needing help. Oglesby, they're going to call who? They're going to call Russell. Busting through the screen. 15 fouls. So we're getting close to bonus time for Howells. We're inside a minute to go. Davis checks in. Tiana Harris checks in as well. Oglesby up top. Russell's guarding her. Doesn't want to let her go anywhere. They're playing a zone except a box and one. With Russell sh shadowing Oglesby. I'll spit it out at some point. Harris. She can hit the three. Davis will try a three. No good. Long rebound. It's going to go out of bounds. And how we'll have possession. Lady Lions trying to cut it back into single digits. They need some help. They need some points. Good ball movement, but Bearcats not giving them anything. Deep three. Cooper. Kennedy's got six. That was a shot in the arm they needed. Six points is our margin. Womack and can't control it, and we have reached the end of quarter number three. 52-46, Bossier City in front. Eight minutes to go. Who's going to prevail? We'll find out after this timeout. 
Weikert King Realty Group provides an extraordinary real estate experience for clients and agents. Come see us at 3920 Rogers Avenue or online at kingrealtygroup.net. encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. Welcome back. Condart Grizzly Fieldhouse. Shout out for Kelton Messenger running our camera for this third place game. Doing a great job, student at Southside. There's a charge on Walker. And that is Walker's third foul. 16 fouls to so the next one puts Howe at the line. I'm Blair Cartwright, pleased to be with you for the 21st annual Tournament of Champions. Jerry and Sandy will. Jerry and Sandy Wagner. Went blank there for a minute. Wagner missed the three. Oglesby somehow got the rebound, missed it, gets her own put back high off the window, still won't go. Another shot, and up and in. Jaylee's got 24. And the lead's back down to four. She might have to hit 40. Coach Williams tells him to back it out. He wants to run some clock. Walker trying to get a screen from Thomas. It's like they didn't really communicate well. They'll back it out. Deep three. I don't know if that's the shot Coach Williams wanted, but look at Thomas get the rebound and back up and in. Dramatica with her first points of the second half. She's got 12. Howell's got to find an answer for her. Somehow. Cooper for three. No good. High off the rebound and turn. <laughs> Just clearing out, Lynn went sprawling, but that's really a play on, and that's what the officials deemed it as. Walker knifing through, off the glass, good. She's got six. First bucket for her in the second half. Lynn's gonna take it, and we've got a collision out front. Flim. Picks up her third. And it's bonus time for Howe. They need to make these free throws count. Nation at the line for a one and one. Juan is about ready to check in. Nation missed the free throw. Thomas with the rebound. Lead is eight. Walker knifes through, double clutch. And good. Chloe's got eight. Four straight points for her, and the lead is back to ten. They'll have a tournament MVP and the Heart of a Champion Award for each a member of each team after this one. Oglesby off the miss. Here comes Walker again. Oglesby tried to make the steal and fouled her from behind. Jaylee's third foul. She's just a junior, so she is. She'll be back next year. Lady Lions going to make some noise in Oklahoma this year. No question about it. On the floor, the basket will be waved off, I believe. Yep. One. Picks up the foul, her first. Brittany's first foul inbounding will be Chloe Walker. Inside to Thomas, now back to Walker. 
Three-pointer on the way. Off the iron, no good, but they get the rebound. That's big. Now Thomas will kick it back out. They'll reset the offense. The clock is their friend. Three-pointers, boy, they better make them if they're going to keep chucking them like that. Flem, Walker. She thought about it. Went inside to Thomas. Back out. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, how? They have a chance now to cut this back under 10. They need some baskets and some stops. And all alone is Juan lays it off the glass. They forgot about Brittany. Oh, they're giving it to Cooper? I thought it was Juan. Either way, it's an eight-point game. Three-pointer on the way, and that missed everything. Thomas trying to save it, ends up throwing it away. Not a bad play, though, but they'll inbound at half court. Lynn will check back in. Nation will come out. Destiny Thomas returns to the floor for Bossier City. She's got four fouls and 17 points. They need some offense. So Coach Williams rolling the dice, putting Thomas back out on the floor with the four fouls. Oglesby gives it up. Womack, she was open but wasn't looking to shoot. Back to Oglesby, and I think Coach Brown wanted her to shoot that three. Timeout on the floor. Eight-point ball game, third-place game of the Tournament of Champions. It's coming down to the wire. Four eighteen to go. We've got an eight-point game. Bozier City has led the entire way. I think How is tied at once. A dangerous pass, but they do get it in. Womack. Oglesby off the glass. Jay Lee Oglesby's got twenty-six. Six-point game. Four minutes left to go. Oh, my. 24. Cooper. Man, I wasn't a lot of contact there. Fifth team foul on the Lady Lions. The Bearcats have committed seven. Thomas in the paint. She missed it, but they get the stick back. Yes. Jones. Johnny on the spot. Oh, but they forgot about Nation. Snowbird. Zoe with the basket. Leads back to six. Three and a half. Thomas off the window. Destiny's first basket of the second half. She's got 19. She's been the difference in the ballgame for Bozier City. She has been phenomenal today. They wanted a foul, no call. Oglesby for three. Oh, my goodness. A step back three. I didn't even think her feet were set. She nailed it. 29. Leads back at five. Three minutes to go. Walker drives in. Nice pass to Thomas. Couldn't get the bunny. And the putback is good, though. Dronotica with her fourth of the second half. She's got 14. 
Oglesby baseline somehow kept it under control. And Flem's going to be called for her fourth foul. So Thomas, number 10, with four. Flem, number 15, with four. And it's bonus time. Oglesby with 29 at the line for a one and one. Going for her 30th point. I think we all know who the tournament MVP for Howe's going to be. A free throw. Rebound, Bozier. Thomas stolen away by Lynn. Lay up. Oh, she missed it, and Thomas gets the rebound. And they almost throw it away. Walker has it. They've got numbers, but they're not looking to push it. They want to burn some clock. Why not? They've got a seven-point lead. Walker, maybe ill-advised, fouled by Nation as she went up. Two fouls on Zoe. Walker will go to the line for a pair. All right, it's free throws now after every foul. Walker's first one, no good. She'll get one more. How has one timeout left? Bozier City hasn't called a timeout yet. Oh my goodness, look at the rebound. Thomas. Dronautica saying no to How right now. Nine points is the margin. She's got 16. Three pointer on the way. Good. Cooper. The lead's back down to six, under two minutes to go. How needs a stop. Bozier needs points and time to go away. And Nation picks up her third. So now it's bonus time. Walker. Made it. Chloe now with nine. Five in the second half. Oh, lane violation. Nope, they're going to say she stepped on the line. So that'll wipe off the free throw. That's unusual. You, you don't see that every day. Seven-point game, three-possession game, under a minute 50 to go. Howell's got to get going and go fast. Oh, blocked by Thomas. Wagner has it. Can they take advantage? Nation. Free throw line extended. No good. Rebound goes to Destiny Thomas. And time is starting to run out on the Howe Lady Lions. Walker taking it to the rack. Contact. Nation picks up her fourth. Walker will get two. And Bozier City can put it away at the line if they make free throws. First one is good. Chloe's got 10. And misses the second. Eight point game. Still a chance for Howe, but they've got to move quickly and score quickly. A little quicker than this. Nation trying to get it to Oglesby, but she's being harassed. Oglesby blocked, that hasn't happened often, and taken away by Russell. Russell with a phenomenal job on Oglesby that time. And then a little hip check there by Cooper. Stops it with 58 seconds. Cooper with her third. Walker missed it, but Thomas with the rebound. Wow, it was blocked. And there's still a chance. They got to go, and they got to go quickly. Nation, she's going to need to shoot that. Somebody's got to shoot the ball. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Lynn got it. 
Six-point game, under 45 to go. Here comes the pressure. Walker easily throws it away. Howe's got it. They only have one timeout, so they've got to be judicious in when they take it. Nation for three. To make it a one-possession game, no good. Oglesby, rebound up, no good, won't go. Rebound by Thomas. She's clearing elbows. It's out to Russell, under 20 to go. And Oglesby has to foul her to stop the clock. Coach Brown's pleading with one of the officials about something. I'm not quite sure what. Thought there might have been a lot of contact. But I'll tell you what, this Lady Lion team, they have hung in there with a team from one of the larger classifications in Louisiana. Five point game, free throw by Thomas is good. She's just had three points in the second half but she's been saddled by foul trouble. This is a six point game so it's still a three possession game. This is a big free throw here. She got it, seven point lead, three possessions. They gotta go fast. And quickly, they just got to come down and chuck it. Oglesby for three. Got it. Timeout. Jaylee Oglesby. Oglesby. Man, 32 points. 32 points. And 8.6 left. There's still time. Crazier things have happened. And when you've got someone who can shoot like Oglesby, it's not over till it's over. Van Buren and Northside in the championship game. That one's going to start a little late. This is the third place game, Bozier and Howe. All of Howe's games have come down to the wire. Except, well, the opener with Southside did not, but the one yesterday did. East Central defeated Southside. 48-34 to start the day. Navajo held off Vanita 41-39. And now we have this. Bozier up by four on Hal. 8.6 left. Now they don't have any timeouts left. So the Lady Lions are going to have to figure it out quickly. They need a turnover and a three, but they can't stop the clock. Official letting Walker know she can not move on the baseline. Inbounded. It's off of Turner. Thomas. It's off Thomas. They turned it over. 8.8. House got a chance. Four-point game. They got the possession. They've got to score and score quickly. Oglesby. There's a contact. They're going to get Russell with a foul. I don't know how Coach Williams is just standing there with his arms crossed. He's calm as a cucumber. I would have been losing my mind. So Nation has a one and one. And Russell has fouled out of the ball game? No, she's got four. She comes out. Big one. Big, big free throw. Nation. Got it. Zoe's got three, and it's a three-point game. Okay, do you miss or do you make? Let's see what Coach Brown has drawn up. Made it. Two-point game, 8.8. .8. Almost stolen away, and timeout, what? They called a foul. Cooper. Wow, I didn't think anybody made contact with anybody, but big free throws. Destiny Thomas, 21 points. Missed the first. Okay, even if she makes this one, how can tie it with a three? Coach Brown's telling Oglesby, hightail it down here, get in the corner. They've got... Cooper over here in the right corner. She's being guarded by Flem in front of the Howe bench. Here's the free throw. It's good. Needs a three. Oglesby. Five seconds. They get it to Nation. Somebody's going to have to shoot. Wagner to tie it. 
off the front of the iron, no good. What a game. 71-68. This Howe team, man, they are tough and tenacious. Hey, what a performance by Bozier City, too, as well. This was their highest output of the tournament, 71 points. When they decide to run, they're tough. And the two coaches exchanged a pleasant handshake, Coach Brown and Coach Williams. Great to see that. A lot of respect earned with both sides. So we'll have a presentation here at the scores table of the Heart of a Champion plaque, a member of each team, and they'll also have an MVP of each team. I think we know who for how that's going to be. Jaylee Oglesby finishes with 32 points, her lowest point output of the tournament. Thomas led the way for Bozier City with 21. I'd say either she or Dranatica Thomas will be the MVP for Bozier City. I guess they're still telling the votes. <laughs> Both teams just kind of waiting. They're, they want to get this. Over with. North side of Van Buren also wanted to get it over with so they can play the championship game. Go ahead and pull the scoreboard off. It's a little, there we go. Kennedy Cooper with the Heart of a Champion Award. Kelsey Marshall, the Heart of the Champion winner for Bozier City. And she'll pose for the award photo. Destiny Thomas with an outstanding performance. 21 points in this game. She'll be the MVP for Bozier City. Oh, wait for it. Not a lot of suspense, I don't think, on the next one. No surprise, Jamie Oglesby.
That's impressive. I have, I know Shamika. I've seen her play. I've seen her score. You break a record that that young lady holds, and that's incredible. And Jaylee Oglesby broke it by 21 points. Wow. Shamika's in the WNBA, former Razorback All-American, as you mentioned. So here's the trophy. And they'll do a team photo of Hal as well. So that's going to wrap it up. 71-68 the final. Bozier City wins the third place game. We saw a record performance from Jay Lee Oglesby. And, man, that was impressive. So we're going to step away for about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be back with the championship game, Northside and Van Buren. But once again, our final score in the third place game, Bozier City 71, Hal 68.